Gad. Jaza mafuta lipa baadaye. Hii ni news update ya Dart and Forge na langu ni Happiness Kelly. Ungana nami nikikuletea taarifa za mataifa mbalimbali zilizotufikia kwa siku ya leo. Ripoti mpya ya shirika la afya duniani WHO inasema janga la Uviko 19 lilipunguza kasi na juhudi za kudhibiti ugonjwa wa malaria na hivyo kusababisha vifo vya zaidi ya watu 63,000 na maambukizo zaidi ya milioni 13 ulimwenguni kwa miaka miwili. Ripoti hiyo iliyochapishwa hapo jana Alhamis ya Disemba 8, 2022 imesema kesi za ugonjwa huo ziliongezeka zaidi mwaka 2020 na kuendelea kuongezeka kwa kiwango cha chini mapema mwaka 2021. Through uh, disruptions of essential uh, malaria services and through pressure on um, national economies and uh, several other disruptions the pandemic has had an impact even though uh, countries have managed to um, prevent the worst case scenario over the two years of the pandemic uh, we estimate that about 63,000 additional deaths and about 13 million additional cases were due to disruptions during the covid-19 pandemic the disruptions due to the pandemic continues to pose uh, risks to malaria control but it's, it's important to highlight that even before the pandemic global progress against malaria had stalled Aida WHO imefafanua kuwa miongoni mwa changamoto hizo ni spishi mpya ya mbu wanaostahimili viuatilifu vingi lakini hata hivyo kikwazo kikubwa zaidi bado ni kukosekana kwa ufadhili. Hata hivyo bara la Afrika ndilo lililoathiriwa zaidi na malaria huku umoja wa mataifa ukisema kwa mwaka jana kulikuwa na vifo laki sita tisa elfu vilivyotokana na malaria na wastani wa maambukizi milioni saba. Wakati huo huo mapambano dhidi ya umaskini maendeleo endelevu na ushirikiano katika uchumi wa dunia wa nchi zinazounda umoja wa mataifa ya Afrika, Caribbean na Pacific yanabaki kuwa malengo makuu ya mkutano unaotarajiwa kufanyika nchini Angola ambayo sasa inachukua nafasi ya mazungumzo na urai si wa EACP kwa miaka mitatu ijayo. Ahadi hiyo inatokana na siku hii ya tatu ya mikutano tangulizi ya mkutano wa kumi wa wakuu wa nchi na serikali ulioanza leo Disemba 9, 2022 jijini Luanda ambapo mkutano huo unafanyika kwa uwazi na ukiwa na umuhimu kwa vijana na wanawake wa Afrika ya baadaye. Naibu Katibu Mtendaji wa SADEC wa Ushirikiano wa Awali Angela Makambo na Katibu Mkuu wa EACP George Chikoti wanasema wakuu wa nchi wanachama wanatarajiwa kutoa mawazo yao kuona ni namna gani wataimarisha mshikamano ili kufikia lengo kusudiwa. Especially in Africa we are recognizing uh, more and more the role of women in our society we um, are aware that without the women we won't be able to really build the africa that we want and the youth the youth is the you know the future of africa so we are really counting on the youth but the youth in our countries uh, developing countries they are meeting a lot of challenges uh, due to uh, the, you know the weak economies that we have uh, the the the, the the schools that the kind of schools that we have the, the youth uh, uh, unemployment is very high in our african countries so it's those kind of uh, issues that we are dealing with mkutano huo unatarajiwa kumalizika hapo kesho jumamosi disemba 10 2022 na kazi ya umaliziaji wa kusainiwa kwa azimio la luanda na tayari waziri mkuu wa jamhuri ya muungano wa tanzania kasi majaliwa amewasili nchini humo
na waasi wa kundi la wapiganaji wa M23 wanadaiwa kuwaua raia 131 katika eneo la mashariki mwa nchi ya Demokrasia ya Kongo DRC Novemba 29 na 30 2022 Madai hayo yametolewa na ujumbe wa umoja wa mataifa nchini Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo MUNASCO kupitia matokeo ya uchaguzi wa awali unaonesha kuwa waliuawa ikiwa ni sehemu ya mauaji ya kulipiza kisasi kwa raia Munasko imeongeza kuwa waliouawa ni wanaume na mbili, wanawake 17 na watoto 12 na waliopigwa risasi za moto au silaha zingine bila ya kujali athari za matokeo. Aidha umoja wa mataifa UN umesema watu wanane walijeruhiwa kwa risasi na wengine 60 kutekwa nyara huku karibu wanawake 22 na wasichana watano wakibakwa. Hata hivyo serikali jijini Kinshasa imesema watu 300 takriban wote wakiwa ni raia walifariki dunia katika mashambulizi ya M23 katika kijiji cha Kishise kilichopo mkoa wa Mashariki wa Kivu Kaskazini huku M23 ikikanusha kuhusika na mauaji hayo. Futa gad, jaza mafuta, lipa badai.